this show on Channel 5. Oh, that's... It's TV! It's not even radio! What the... I can't believe! Thank you so much for tuning into the video, guys. This is actually a follow-on video from a debate that I did last year in January. If you have not yet gone to watch that video, please click the link down below and then come back to this video because it follows on perfectly. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another video. So I'm excited. I'm actually really excited because um, Jeremy Vine is about to call, well his producers are about to call, and I'm about to go on the show again. Now, this is a very big radio station. I'm fairly sure because the last time I was on Jeremy Vine, they said there was seven million people listening, so that is absolutely huge. So I don't know if this one's just as big, I'll find out after. But yeah, they just emailed me today and it's really weird because I was just thinking about that interview I did with Jeremy Vine last time. It was one of the most controversial interviews I've ever done. It was very polarizing in the community. Well, you didn't answer the question. Is, is well, high welfare you know, slaughter you know, for a dog you know, okay? You know, people were saying my conduct was aggressive. I definitely got the message across in it though. Are you the victim in this situation? They're about to call. I thought I would start filming the video now, just tell you how I'm feeling. And they want to talk about the uh, sausage roll that Greg's are bringing out uh, today. So I think it, it sort of hits the stores in over 950 stores in the UK today. In time for Veganuary. Veganuary is really going off. I mean, it's on course to hit its target of 300,000 signups with about 10,000 people signing up a day. That's huge. It's absolutely huge. I mean, Jeremy Vine, he sort of poked a bit of fun at me last time, saying like... Is that vegans do seem to be very angry. Yeah, you'd be angry too if there were dogs in the well, back of that truck. why are you so angry about the whole thing? I don't know whether you're angry today or just generally about the whole thing. I was saying I'm a little upset that you've got a ham sandwich on your table. Well, I'm a bit upset to see your sandwich has a piece of a pig's body in there. So, maybe we should ask, um... Jeremy today... <laughs> if he's got... A ham sandwich on the table, or if, in the spirit of Veganuary, he has a sausage roll from Greg's. We'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, okay, they're calling, they're calling. Hello? Hello, good morning. Is this um, Joey Carbstrong? Yeah, Joey Carbstrong speaking. Hello, my name is Rin. I'm calling from Jeremy Vine on Channel 5. I believe you've um, spoken to my colleague, I believe Ken or Elliot Lewis. About yeah. talking talk onto the show this morning. Yes, can you hear me clearly? Yeah? Yes, we can. Put me on hold now, Jerry. Do stay on the line. Thank you. Before the break, we asked, according to a survey, how many vegans are there in the UK? The answer is C. Three and a half million. <laughs> I, I don't believe we have any vegans today. You're a vegetarian, but we are... Maybe we'll talk to one shortly. But first, the bakery chain Greg's has today started selling what it calls a vegan-friendly version of the sausage roll. This follows news that McDonald's, best known for its burgers, is selling vegetarian Happy Meals for children. These are all contributions to the barely pronounceable Veganuary, the campaign to go vegan in January. Veganuary. And maybe for the rest of their lives, if it goes well, Greg sells one and a half million sausage rolls every week, its best-selling item, and says it is now responding to consumer demand. So what do our panellists think about this? Firstly, Nihal, do you, do you think this is a good idea? Well, it's, I'm just looking at the stats here and it's got less calories, it's got less fat, it's got more protein, it's got slightly more salt, which makes you wonder how they make it taste as they do. Um, do you remember back in the days if someone said they were a vegan, it was like they might as well have said they were a Jedi. I mean, it was so kind of weird. People would just think, oh, good Lord, have you heard Hugo's son has become a vegan? But now it's so mainstream. I think Lewis Hamilton is a vegan. David Hay, the boxer, is a vegan. Uh, the brilliant comedian Ramesh Ranganathan is a, is, a, is a vegan. And as you saw the stats, you know, millions of people are now... Becoming vegans. Because I, they I used to all be vegetarian. Vegetarian. You, know, you don't yeah. eat meat and fish. But even the vegetarian thing was seen as, you know, pe certain people would say, oh, tree hugging and all that kind of stuff. 
but uh, it, it proves, and, and also was there, and perhaps you can tell me, Doctor, that there was an idea, wasn't there, back in the days, that suddenly if you went to a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet, you wouldn't be getting the vitamins that you oh, needed, absolutely. you wouldn't be getting all that, but that's... Presumably well, not the answer true. is it's not necessarily true, but if you are a vegan, it is harder to get all the nutrients that you need. And particularly, for instance, for young women who have heavy periods with iron, for older people, it might be more of an issue with calcium. Um, so if you are a vegan, then with a bit of planning, you can have a perfectly balanced diet. Okay. A balanced diet in no parallel universe includes a sausage roll, vegan or <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll come to you in a second. Later. I tell you what, we've got some sausage rolls. Should we, I think I should bring them to the audience. We'll do a little taste test here, OK? We won't give any of them to anyone who is vegetarian or vegan, so you're off the hook here, Storm. But I've got two plates here. One set is meat and one set is vegan, and I'm not saying which is which. And what we'll do here is we'll give one set of sausage rolls to this side of the audience, OK, on the right. <laughs> so, Storm, could you distribute them? Yeah. Could it, everyone happy to eat? Do you want eat? to take one? Yeah, um, take one. Tuck in another set Come of sausage back. rolls to this side of the audience, please. And we just want to see if you can work out exactly what's going on with the sausage rolls. Do pass them around. So I think it's good that if, if it's consumer demand and people are worried about the welfare of animals and they feel more comfortable eating something that hasn't used an animal in, I think that's fine. But as part of a healthy diet, it's a treat only. It's definitely not something you okay, have even, even the vegan ones. So, so are you enjoying it, audience? Maybe not. OK, and we, we don't at the moment know which is meat and which is vegan, and I'm going to just talk about that in a second and reveal all. But meanwhile, on the phone, we've got the animal rights activist, vegan campaigner, Joey Carbstrong. Um, Joey... Is there a problem here with too many people becoming vegan? Not a problem at all, Jeremy. And I'm glad you've got some vegan sausage rolls on the table and not a ham sandwich this time, but I'm, I'm very, so very happy at this. <laughs> I'm very happy with how many vegans there are in the UK at the moment, for sure. Uh, what do you think of the vegan sausage roll? I think it's amazing. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of cruelty in animal products and pigs are gash chambered and stabbed to death for the other sausage rolls. So an ethical choice. Uh, is always best. Is it, Joey, is it, if I eat a, a sausage roll, a meat one, is it wrong if I don't bear in mind what happened to the animal that created it? Is that the problem here? Willful ignorance is kind of what drives these industries and it's what they rely on. So um, I would be more conscious of what you're consuming and the animal that lost their life for that uh, sausage roll and just go for the vegan stuff. There's plenty of vegan options in the UK now. It's absolutely blowing up over there. It's great. What, what's wrong with killing animals and eating them? There's many things wrong with killing a sentient animal and eating them when we have alternatives. Uh, it's you know, an injustice to take someone's life from them. It's causing the leading killer of human beings, which is heart disease, and it's destroying the environment. Animal, animal agriculture is destroying the environment. So the science and evidence is very clear on that. Thanks, Jerry. Have a good day. Peace to you, mate. There we are, Jerry Carbstrong. He's referenced the ham sandwich last Not time. What's his I... real surname? I'm guessing. No, I, I, last time I interviewed him, I did have a ham sandwich in, in, on the table. But and what was... you didn't ask him was, is it healthy? Because is that vegan no, sausage I think, healthy? I think you've answered that with your... I'm interested in what a vegan would say, though. Y yeah, he's gone now. Yeah. I should have asked him if it... <laughs> it's, it's, I don't think it. anyone could argue a sausage roll is healthy. I, I don't think anyone would yeah, argue none that. None of us. Even Carbstrong yeah. over there would. Is, um, um, a sausage roll, is it created by mincing the meat? And, and, and I mean, where... Because I've heard the idea that the, the meat is sort of sprayed off the animal with a jet and... Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not nice. Oh, we maybe even don't want to talk. This is what Joey <laughs> says. We don't, we can't bear to talk no. about it. Hello, Joey. Thank you so much for um, <laughs> phoning in or allowing us to speak to you today. I morning. appreciate the uh, time that you thank gave you. me and uh, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Peace Bye. to you. Bye-bye. Well, there we go. I mean, that was really quick. I had about four sentences, so I had to squeeze in what I could in those four sentences. And I could have said more. I could have said sign up to Veganuary, which I'm a little bit upset, a little bit that I didn't say sign up to Veganuary. But, you know, we got the message of the gas chambers and pigs being stabbed and they shouldn't be harmed and killed when we have alternatives. Go for the vegan alternatives. Um, it's not. It's quite a simple message, isn't it? So I think to say it in quite a simple way is always best. But anyways... We'll see how that little interview went. I mean, it was only like three minutes, but it still got the message out, and we'll see how many listeners... You know, maybe we can actually see... Um... 
Wait, is Jan Channel 5 the radio? Let's see, viewing figures. I think it was TV. Was it TV? What the hell? Is that TV? Was I just on TV? Oh my god! One second here. Let's just look at the email. For a show on Channel 5. Oh, that's ra It's TV! It's not even radio! What the? I can't believe! It's a, ch it's a chat and t it's a show! Oh my god! It's a TV show, dude! Oh my god, I can't believe this! ITN Productions. Look, I cannot believe that that was a TV show I was just on. I'm tripping out! It, channel 4, it's a, it was a TV show, guys. Yeah, that, that is, ins that is, that is funny, I was just on TV. <laughs> How cool is that?